I'm an artist on Basement, Bitcoin's first musical directory. What the heck is a directory? It's an NFT art collection that's been curated selectively. And essentially, since anyone can copy your artwork and put it inside an NFT, a directory is a centralized authoritative way to verify real assets effectively. You just go to the site, then boom, the contract information is as clear as it could ever be. It's simple and painless. It's not a hysterectomy. But since mints in a directory are minted in batches, the word non-fungible semantically detaches. It's more semi-fungible. So we chose a different word to match this. We call music NFTs MFTs. What the heck is an MFT? You better Google search this fast. The answer is obvious. Musical f***ing tokens, dumbass. I'm just joking. Maybe it's musically formatted tokens or even musician funding tokens. But either way, the case, MFTs are not non-fungible. Now, in the Genesis series of the Basement Collection, this part will make your head spin. Okay, no, it won't. We put all the tracks on five vinyls with an NFT to connect them on each. Limited edition. So if you don't have one, there's a whole piece of history you're missing. So even if your house with the vinyl burns down in a fire, you still got this limited edition MFT everyone will admire. And each vinyl has a QR code to fulfill a collector's dream. That when you scan it, your screen will show the NFT on the block explorer. Because come on, I mean, the asset and the object are truly a team. So having them inextricably binded in a physical way adds an icing of cream. The assets exist in two parallel planes. So don't make the claim it's just a CD-ROM. From the digital, we made it physical, like Olivia Newton-John. So check out basement.wtf because we don't f with dot com. Word.